Thanks very much, Carrie. Breaking news, but good news for TTC riders. Regular service has resumed on line two. That's the Bloor line. It was suspended between Keel and Ossington stations due to a fire investigation, but the all clear has now been given. In other news, Mayor John Tory has wrapped up his trip to New York City, where he made the case for Toronto as a tech hub. He told CNBC Amazon should choose Toronto for its second headquarters, and here's why. We've got a great opportunity, a region with uh, 6 million plus people, 11 uh, post-secondary institutions, hundreds of thousands of uh, skilled uh, workers, open immigration, uh, an opportunity to bring people from all over the world to come and work for you, and we made our case. Tory was on a two-day mission to NYC. That's where he met with business leaders in the tech and innovation sectors. He also visited Google's Sidewalk Labs, which is coming to Toronto. It won a bid to build a waterfront tech community. Meanwhile, a recent report looked at the top 65 spots for Amazon's second headquarters. Toronto coming in at number 12. Atlanta is number one. Well, startling new information coming out about the deadly mass shooting in Northern California that left five people dead and several others injured. The gunman was reportedly not allowed to own a gun. Kevin Neal had been banned from owning guns following a restraining order placed on him by his neighbor. The two apparently had a confrontation in January that ended with Neal being arrested for stabbing and harassing his next door neighbor. Earlier this week, that neighbor was shot and killed by Neal before he left and tried to enter an elementary school. He fired shots at random, killing three people and injuring 10 others. The school was placed into lockdown and thankfully the suspect was unable to enter the building. A fifth grader who was inside the school at the time recalls what happened when the shooting began. I seen glass before I looked. I seen a glass all over and then I seen a big giant truck in the way and I was like, and then I seen he was like this. He had his gun in his hand about to shoot people and he was like and I ran to the teacher and was like bad guy gun and then he let me in. He was about 12 feet away from me. He had like this brownish beardish um, with gray hairs and then he didn't have any hair. Neil apparently did not purchase these guns but instead manufactured them illegally at his home. The death toll in Neil's rampage has now grown to five after police found the body of his wife. She was apparently shot and killed inside her home. A motive has not been released. The U.S. House of Representatives is poised to vote on tax reform bills later today. It could be a major Republican win if it passes. The bill is a sweeping rewrite of the tax code, and while there is ex expectation it will pass, the Senate version is not as big. It's not as certain, rather. Now, the big question here, whether middle-class taxpayers will actually see relief. Critics say the plan will increase income inequality. Four more women have made allegations against Roy Moore, claiming they were the targets of disturbing sexual advances by the Alabama Republican Senate candidate. The new accounts bring the total to nine women who have alleged inappropriate sexual behavior by Moore. He denies any wrongdoing, dismissing it all as politically motivated. But the allegations have upended the Senate race to replace Attorney General Jeff Sessions in a state long considered a safe Republican stronghold. Cult leader and convicted mass murderer Charles Manson has been taken from hospital, from prison rather, to hospital, but the severity of his illness is not clear. The Los Angeles Times reporting that the 83-year-old has been hospitalized. This is the second time Manson has been in hospital this year. In the 1960s, Manson assembled a group of runaways and outcasts known as the Manson family. Then in the summer of 1969, he directed his mostly young female followers to murder seven people in what prosecutors said it was part of a plan to incite a race war.